new to this whole YouTube uh, channel thing, I started my project before recording. What I have here is I have four two by four by twelve. I have four. I have four. I took three in already. No. One, two. Yeah, four. Two by four by eights. And two four by four by eights. I'm going to make some uh, beehive stands. They'll be 12 foot long and 21 inches wide. And what I've done already, I've cut, uh, what do I got? I got eight, 18 inch long two by fours as we go across. And we got six, and I'm, I'm cutting up. Uh, these are about, uh, about eight inches, seven and seven eighths, something like that. I need 24 of these for bracing. So I'll carry on. For those that don't know, the easy way to do this is you, you cut your first piece at a 45 here. Then you just flip it over. You run it up there and cut another one. Then you flip the rest of this over until you get uh, all the way to the end and all your pieces are the same. Easy peasy. The 4x4 four four just need cut into roughly four equal sections because they're just going to be supports for the the stand. I got my 24 bra corner braces and I probably could have done the mass better and probably could have got uh, three two by four by eights and one two no two two by four by eights and one two by four by ten but who doesn't need a spare piece of ground contact uh, treated lumbers laying around. We'll find a use for it, I'm sure. Okay, I'm gonna lay it out. I, uh, it's kinda nice I have my sawmill in here so I can actually use this as a workbench. Kinda nice, I'll just, uh, I'll clamp each of the pieces. I'll mark uh, four feet here, four feet here, and one at the end. Get it all clamped up, make sure it's nice and square, and then I'll just use the uh, framing nailer to put together a uh, tip for anyone out there i i, I kind of like framing nailers don't use much air and so this uh, quarter inch uh, flexzilla air hose is kind of nice it's lightweight it doesn't bind on you i find it easier to to work on stuff with that with the with the nailers okay i got it all clamped together uh, I didn't check this in, and these are just kind of rough. I'll square these up after I get the two ends in. Um, this one here seems square enough. Doesn't need to be that square. It's going to go out and sit in the field. So I'll go ahead and uh, nail them in and then work on my braces on this side, and then I'll get the far side, and then I'll square up the, the center braces. Okay, I got my end pieces nailed in, the bracing clamped in there, so I'll just go ahead and toe nail it in there and carry on down the, the stand. Okay, so I got this uh, the end piece nailed in here and the corners clamped in so we're nice and square. I think I'm going to get these guys in next with the, the nail gun because even though it all went okay I did get uh, one little nail sticking out there and I have some shorter nails for the, the nail gun that I'll then use for the, the bracing. And there we go we got one hive stand uh, set up for uh, staging hives and nooks as we sell them here in the spring of 2024. If anyone cares, in spring of 2024, the wood cost on this big box store in eastern Ohio is about 35 bucks. So I got $70 for two of them. And here they are out in the wild. 
you I just lay the I put down some uh, gravel across the bottom these are lay some uh, geofabric down and then just bring in a couple scoops of gravel get them kind of leveled up and ready for hives <laughs>